things we do when we are doing a make ready is to put on washer hoses on the faucets in our units. We're, we're equipped for a washer and dryer. You can see here's our dryer hookups and everything. There's our washer hookups. But the problem that we have is that all of our water lines in these units are CPVC. If you've got CPVC, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Even the faucets themselves are plastic, which, you know, there's nothing you can really do about it now, but uh, after the fact, you can change them out and go through all the expense of cutting the box out, put a new box in, put a new valves in. That's a lot of work. But what we were finding is that when people were moving in and hooking their washing machines up, they were tightening up those hoses so tight that they were breaking the CPVC, CPVC line down in the wall. And then we'd have a flood. And we were getting two to three, four, maybe even five a month that uh, was a serious issue. So what we decided to do was to put our own hoses on those faucets and we tighten them up so that they're not leaking. And when the resident moves in, we tell them, hook the hoses up that are on the wall, hook those to your machine, don't, don't take them off. So when they come in here and we buy these, they're not cheap, but we probably spend about $8 for a set for two of them and all they got to do is just hook this to the back of their machine. They don't have to screw it into the faucet, over tighten it and break in that CPVC line. So it's knocked us down to where we might be getting one a month as opposed to four or five a month. And if you know anything about water extractions, you know that it can be very expensive to have somebody come in and water extract not just this apartment but the one behind it because it's going to flood too and if it's upstairs it's going to flood upstairs it's going to flood upstairs and downstairs so that water extraction and cleanup and drying time and everything it's expensive you're you know you're looking at about two thousand three thousand dollars to get that done for two apartments if it's more than two you really got a problem so alleviate that problem. If you have CPVC pipes and this is an issue for you for the washer lines, this a, it's a good fix. Trust me. If I can cut down half of what, we were, of what we were getting by putting hoses on that washer connection, it paid for itself. So like I said, we pay about $8 for a pair of them from the local appliance parts distributor and we put them on for the resident from then on all they got to do is put it to their machine all they got to touch on the back of the machine is turn the water on and then they can wash clothes no problem no fuss no muss you know so yeah if you've got cpvc for your water lines and you're having a problem with broken lines go ahead and make the, the small investment of buying some washer hoses Put them on there, tell the future resident not to take them off, but to use them, you're gonna cut yourself some problems later down the line. Something we also do on our turns, and it's, it's a little thing, it's not very big, but uh, it kinda looks right, is we always put toilet paper in the bathrooms. It's not much. But, you know, it's like I said, it's the little things that count. When somebody's coming in to move in, you don't know, excuse the light, you don't know what they've got. They've, they've got maybe toilet paper, but it's packed up in a box. And so we always go ahead and supply a roll of, well, it's not the best toilet paper. We don't spend a whole lot on it, but, you know, in a pinch, people will use it. So it's one of those things that if somebody needs it, it's here. When they move in, they don't have to worry about not having toilet paper. And we also go the other step and we give them their first roll of paper towels for the unit. So, you know, we do the hoses, we do the paper towels, we do the toilet paper. And this is all the little things, you know. 
Just the little things. Here's a little thing. When you're putting these screws in, we always try to make a point to make them uniform. Make them face the same way. Instead of having one like this, one like this, one like that, one like that, you know. It just, it's the attention to detail when you're turning an apartment and making it ready for a future resident. This is going to be their home, so we look at it as though I want my grandmother to move in here. I'd be fine with my grandmother moving in here because I know I did it right. So just the little things, the little things.